right now. We just arrived on this. Oh, we're dead yet, and there's heavy uh, incoming shelling right now. We're on the scene. Uh, whoa, shit! Uh, uh, whew. Uh, whew. We're just outside the Scientific Research Institute that was hit just 40 minutes ago. Definite war crime. Fire department, police on scene to see the damage and more incoming shelling from Ukrainian territory. Let's go see the damage. Here's the damage from the first impact. It was less than 45 minutes ago. And we see the smoke over there from some of the ones that just came down. We counted about six incoming shells in the second attack. Scientific Institute. This is the guy and Russian military inspectors and the whole the latest attack still smoking. Okay. <laughs> Wow. <sighs> okay, this just came down. What, as you saw a couple minutes ago, what? Toka Bill. Oh, there's a bullshit. Uh, big hole. <sighs> We had just arrived on scene, seen Toka Namesta. Oh. oh, somebody seems injured. Uh, this just happened. These two just, oh. see the smoke coming off. We were looking over. Uh. Oh. So Normana, so Normana, what's your promote? Thank you, thank you. Hey, Sally. So Tom, Normana Tom? Uh-huh. So it seems no one was in there. Let's see what this building is. There's a window here. Uh, it seems to be maybe a place for the security guards to sleep or something. Uh, uh, for the research center here. Thrust. Nick Tovid. Yeah, do also had a show. No, this is fact. Helen, yes. What? Uh, all journalists uh, and uh, police, fire department had just arrived on scene because it's a fresh attack and Ukraine opened fire again on the location. We, you heard it, you see it in real time. <laughs> Включил, да? Все включено, да, да. Пишет. Ага. Сотрудники следственного комитета производят осмотр мест происшествия около НИИ в Калининском районе города Донецка. В результате осмотра обнаружен фрагмент, предположительно, от РСЗО Хаммерс. Также в результате 
обстрела погибла женщина, находящаяся в ней. Все осколки и фрагменты снарядов будут изъяты и дальнейшем направлены экспертизу для уточнения конкретного типа и вида снаряда. По зданию били второй раз, повторный, да? Был? Повторный, да. Во время осмотра был повторный удар по зданию. Тоже предположительно тяжело хайпс. Можно, можно показать осколочек? осколочек? И можно вопрос? Женщина погибшая первый раз или второй раз? Не понял. Женщина первый, первый да? Ага. Ага, спасибо. Alright, so that was the Russian inspectors here on the scene telling us that uh, the uh, the uh, shrapnel from the whole, uh, rocket seemed to be a Western supplied HIMARS, and this hole that we saw here is indicative of uh, a HIMARS. We see them come down and just rip into the ground right after they explode, or sometimes they explode after. There's three, at least, different settings for the HIMARS. One is they explode in the air, air burst. Others pound through and then explode, and others exploding on impact. So let's go in and take a look inside the building. First, uh, Run in the good day. Huh? Run in the good day. Uh -huh. Luditan? Luditan? <laughs> Say Shelly? Normana? Yes. Uh -huh. So everybody's been injured here. So we've heard so far one killed and two injured, but we're not sure where the injured are. What's this? Because I'm still at the mesta. At the mesta, still at the at the down at Danya. Yeah, which is Danya to give a let. Yeah, corresponded. He did it the machine. Можете сказать, это здание, что это? Это здание научного института, ГВУ а. Нейвы, ага. научный институт. Ага. Вот я тут работаю 34 да. года. Военные тут нет? Откуда тут могут быть военные? Это здание научного института. Ага, и как, видимо, почему украинский стреляет на это здание? Я не знаю, но почему-то уже не первый раз. Ага. Они думают, что может что-то делать. Ага. So, спасибо большое. Okay, so we're not going to have time to translate all this for Russian English like we normally do. We're just putting it out. So what she just said was Scientific Institute and uh, no military here. She doesn't know why Ukraine is firing on it, but it's not the first time. Uh, she doesn't know why they do it. So now we're going to see what else we can uh, find around here. Uh, should be about uh, it. Uh, now you're going to take the Let's go. 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 Let's Здорово, Патрик. Привет. 
Нормально, как Там сейчас опять прилеты были, слышал? Да, только, только, только без кота это было. So, as we can see, there's no uh, sign of military here, just seems classrooms and research equipment, but we're told the uh, dead person is on the fourth floor, so now we're waking, making our way up. Uh, hopefully it's bad information, hopefully she is still alive, but we won't know for sure. Oh my goodness. Oh, a treaty, huh? She's not cafe. She had a big hematoma. Okay. So Tom Shatiri, Kaku Yaki Shatiri. This is four. This is four? Yeah. So do I see those of this? On this floor is where it was reported that the woman was killed. But on this floor is where it's reported the woman was killed, but I'm not sure exactly where yet. And I can talk to the Jewish Lucas because I'll just forget you. And all we see is office spaces. Right now it's just journalists up here basically. Another inspectors. More classroom. Looks like a science room. Was in East Cameron, Tom. So this is a probably under the rubble. Unfortunately, she might be underneath the rubble. It seems. <sighs> So, just so you know how this played out exactly, I had just arrived in the center from uh, three days on the front line, heard three explosions, and right away looked for information and realized that one of the uh, explosions had hit the Science Institute, rushed here, and as soon as we got here, we didn't even have time to turn on the camera, Yet, but the explosions and uh, more shelling of what is reported to be high Mars came. Oh, it appears to be high Mars from the shrapnel and the uh, inspector's testimony. Yeah, and it appears the dead woman was on this side. Uh, so there's other journalists here now filming, so we're going to give them a little space so this uh, information can get out to the widest audience possible because the world needs to know about what is happening here. Or, as you see, this is one take. We're showing you everything as we see it. 
from the moment we're under shelling until we find out all the information uh, we need. Okay. So right now we're being asked by the uh, uh, emergency workers to go to uh, lower floor because this area hasn't been uh, medically or uh, structurally inspected. Sometimes it happens when we get to the site faster than the engineers uh, who want us to evacuate a bit to uh, give them a chance to work, which is understandable. We've got to be respect as respectful as possible to both the workers and the families of the victims. Uh, so we're working our way back down. And you can just see the shrapnel here. Uh, yeah, so now we're getting word that they, they think the roof might collapse uh, soon. Uh, but, so we're going to make our way outside. Uh, we definitely didn't expect to re be reporting on this. As I said, we were just on the front line for three days. Uh, to 60 uh, kilometers uh, from Ukrainian positions. And here are some of the workers that are able to evacuate now. Uh, see workers evacuating. And here comes the uh, uh, JCCC inspectors and more uh, civilians evacuating. Just uh, you know, we could ask a million questions, but I don't think they're in the mood to answer. Uh, they just lost uh, one of their uh, co-workers, it seems, and we heard another two injured, but it's not confirmed yet. But it seems fairly confirmed that there was at least one uh, killed. Uh, so, uh, uh, and now we hear there might be an injured person uh, on the other side of the road, it seems. Yeah? Where? No, no, that woman is... Check. Uh, she... Okay, there might be one in the group that was running, but she's already down the way. We don't want to chase her down too much. So... Uh, so I think... We've shown you everything we can here in one take, showing you the real facts on the ground. How Ukraine firing reportedly the United States funded and supplied HIMARS rockets on a scientific research institute here in Donetsk. This is just one instance like this. And they say it's not the first time. And we saw it twice today. First time, just so it's clear. 
Pivot us, building that Cretia. First time was on the top of the building. Then as we came along the edge and the side buildings, many in, in, impacts. Uh, so, not gonna have time to exactly translate this both to Russian and English, but we did our best to, uh, to show you uh, both. So, stay with us. There's a lot more to come. As I said, I just filmed uh, two reports on the front line. So please like this video, share it across all social media. Remember, we're totally independent, crowdfunded journalists. We're only able to do these jobs. We get our equipment, do our transportation, do all the work we do because of the support from viewers like you. So please help us do our work. Help me show the world what is happening here on the ground because you're not going to see this anywhere else in English right now, unfortunately. So a lot more to come. We're out. Thanks for being here with us. Let's show the world together.